Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic here and in this video we will talk about the white matter tracks, commissures and association fibers. In the previous video we learned about the grey matter and we also understood the arrangement of grey matter and white matter in the brain and the spinal cord. So in this video we will see in details about the different types of white matter that we have in our central nervous system. Neuron basically has two parts which is the cell body and the axon. Cell body also comes with certain processes known as the dendrites, right? Now, one of my professors once told me that you can compare neurons with rats. Now, the body of the rats represent the cell body of the neuron and the long tail of the rats represent the axons. Now, if I draw a lot of rats together, suppose this is how if I draw a lot of rats together, Now, the collection of the bodies of the rats will form my gray matter. This will form my gray matter. And the collection of axons will form my white matter. Now, this arrangement of bundle of white bundle of axons represent the white matter in the CNS. Now, this white matter communicates between different gray matters of the central nervous system. Now we all know that central nervous system is a 3D structure, right? Now to communicate in the 3D structure, you will be needing bundle of fibers going in the X direction, bundle of fibers going in the Y direction, as well as bundle of fibers going in the Z direction, right? So based on this 3D arrangement, we can say that we have three different sort of white matter bundles, right? Now the bundles which communicate in the superior inferior manner that means this is the superior inferior manner they are known as tracts those white matter fibers which communicate in the left to right manner they are known as commissures or commissural fibers and those fibers which communicate in the anterior posterior direction they are known as association fibers All right so superior inferior we have tracks left to right we have commissures and anterior posterior we have association fibers right now tracks based on the tracks which the tracks that go up from the spinal cord towards the brain are known as ascending tracts And the tracks that come down are known as descending tracks. Right, ascending tracks and descending tracks. Now, commissural fiber, one very important commissural fiber that we have is our corpus callosum, which connects the two hemispheres of the cerebral, cerebrum. Right, so that is known as the corpus callosum. Right. So basically white matter is nothing but the collection of axons of the neurons that are present in the central nervous system. Now the bundle of axons based on their arrangement and based on the nature of connecting different white gray matter parts, they are called either tracks if they are arranged superior inferiorly or inferior superiorly. They are called commissures if they are connecting left with the right or they are called association fibers if they are connecting in an anterior posterior manner. So this is all about today's video. I hope you have understood this video well. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of your medical school. And by any chance, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the notification to all so that you never ever miss a video from my channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.